My name is Derek Kayongo, and I'm the CEO uh, for the Center for Civil and Human Rights. I uh, founded the Global Soap Project about seven years ago, and it took uh, partially used bars of soap from hotels, which you leave behind, and recycles those soaps into brand new soap, which we give to people around the world that need soap in refugee camps and that kind of thing. It's very important for somebody who has gone through the same struggle that you've gone through to come back and encourage you and talk to you about what struggle looks like. Uh, when they talk to me about, I grew up in the ghetto, I say, well, I grew up in Uganda. <laughs> what, you know, we, we, we're both kids of uh, disadvantagedness. Most people ask the question, what is Atlanta? Is it a city of uh, too busy to hate? Is it the city that has the biggest airport in the world? Is it the city that has the big aquarium? And all those things are true. But actually, Atlanta is the city of rights. Rights. The civil rights movement began right here. No other city in the US can lay claim to that in the way that Atlanta does. Mercedes-Benz is lucky to be in Atlanta, but on the west side, because they're going to be the company that shows the whole world what a city that has rights and respects people and is at the forefront of humility and gumption and all that work looks like. So I think they are really, really poised to do very well. And they have this wonderful gift that makes the city and Mercedes-Benz intersect and do good work. So, this is going to be fun.